In the calm early hours of a typical Friday morning, amid the lively activity at Cork's port, a significant event took place. Revenue officers stumbled upon a shocking discovery, a whopping 546 kilograms of synthetic drugs, likely crystal meth, cleverly concealed within machinery inside a shipping container. This find was valued at an astonishing 32.8 million euros, marking the largest seizure of its kind in Ireland's history. Following this breakthrough, authorities swiftly conducted raids across Cork, Kerry, and Waterford City. These operations led to the seizure of two firearms and the apprehension of two individuals, Nathan McDonnell, identified as the CEO of Bally City Garden Center in Kerry, and James Lean. Let's delve into it. The arrest of McDonald has sent shockwaves through Kerry, where he was widely admired as a hardworking entrepreneur. However, CCTV footage reportedly depicts him loading machinery into the container for transportation. Authorities claim McDonald accepted and stored the machinery at Bally City, with an alleged payment promise of 150,000 euros for the storage. It seems law enforcement didn't suspect that the highly addictive drug was destined for the Irish market, suggesting potential involvement of a Mexican cartel. Ireland is believed to have served as a mere transit point for this significant haul. The investigation traces the drug's origins back to Mexico, likely originating from cartel-operated labs before making its way to Ireland. Investigators suspect that the primary target market for most of these drugs was Australia. This significant confiscation has drawn attention to the activities of one of Mexico's most notorious drug cartels operating within Ireland. There are allegations suggesting the involvement of an Irish individual in a senior role within the organization. Members of the Garda Drug and Organized Crime Bureau, DOCB, have identified several Irish individuals in the Cork area, whom they suspect have been collaborating with the Sinaloa cartel, formerly led by the infamous Joaquin El Chapo Guzman. This criminal syndicate, based in Mexico, is widely recognized as one of the most influential cartels globally. The second individual arrested in connection with the discovery, James Lean, is believed to have close connections to a man named Morris O'Shea Salazar, an Irish national accused of leading the European operations of the Sinaloa cartel. O'Shea, who was born to an Irish father and a Mexican mother, spent his early years in Mexico until tragedy struck with his father's untimely passing. After this loss, the family moved to his father's hometown in County Kerry around 2005. O'Shea, then around 15 years old, adjusted to life in Ireland, living with his mother and sister in a rented council house. He attended Kilorglin Community College, becoming a part of the community for nearly a decade. During his late teens, O'Shea found himself entangled in a string of criminal accusations, including charges related to firearm possession, criminal damage, and dealing with stolen goods. His legal team once argued in court that O'Shea struggled with a personality disorder, Gradually, he acquired the nickname Mexican, due to his associations with drug-related activities. Additionally, O'Shea's family connections raised eyebrows. His mother, Yolanda Salazar, shares a surname with El Chapo's first wife, hinting at familial links that may have facilitated O'Shea's involvement in the inner circle of the Sinaloa cartel. The exact timeline of O'Shea's departure from Ireland remains uncertain, but it is thought to have taken place around 2016, his next known location was Barcelona, where, as per Chilean authorities, he allegedly coordinated drug trafficking operations into Europe on behalf of the Sinaloa cartel. Intriguingly, during this time, El Chapo's sons, famously known as Los Chapitos, started to rise in prominence, with two of them sharing the same surname as O'Shea. They gained more significance in their father's absence after his extradition to the United States. There is a degree of uncertainty surrounding O'Shea's whereabouts, but records indicate that in 2020, he was residing in a luxurious fifth-floor apartment in Barcelona during the time of the EncroChat hack. Prior to this, the DEA had already alerted authorities to O'Shea's presence in Barcelona, coinciding with simultaneous operations in Chile. Following this, Chilean authorities revealed O'Shea's alleged involvement with the Sinaloa cartel, detailing his purported role. Meanwhile, O'Shea's mother, Yolanda Salazar, and her brother, Ricardo Salazar, were facing sentencing for their involvement in a drug trafficking scheme uncovered in Chile during the COVID-19 pandemic. Around 2019, it's believed that Yolanda Salazar relocated to Chile after living discreetly in Kilorglin. During this time, O'Shea was reportedly overseeing an operation involving Bolivian cocaine being transported through Chile to Europe. 
However, when the intended buyer fell ill, O'Shea entrusted the task to his mother and uncle, who were sent to Chile to handle the operation. Chilean prosecutors argued during court proceedings that they were following instructions from O'Shea as they oversaw a plan to acquire a significant 6,000 kilograms of cocaine from Bolivia. This plan involved storing the drugs in Chile for subsequent exportation via six separate shipments bound for the port of Antwerp in Belgium before ultimately being flown to Spain. To put O'Shea's operation into perspective, it dwarfs the scale of the significant drug seizure aboard the MV Matthew off the coast of Wexford, Ireland, in September 2023. During that incident, authorities confiscated 2.25 tons of drugs. In contrast, O'Shea's enterprise, involving his mother and uncle, aimed to transport nearly three times as much, six tons of cocaine, across the Atlantic. Despite a Spanish undercover agent successfully establishing contact with O'Shea by phone in early 2021, a planned meeting between the two never took place. The Irish-Mexican dual citizen, known by the alias Mauricio, was unreachable in Spain on the agreed-upon date, and subsequent attempts to contact him were fruitless as O'Shea ceased communication with the agent thereafter. In March 2021, O'Shea's mother and uncle were arrested in Chile while trying to leave the country. They were subsequently convicted and handed down individual sentences. Currently, O'Shea is being pursued in Chile, where authorities have launched a formal extradition request against him regarding the 6,000-kilogram cocaine smuggling scheme. The value of the seized drugs, initially estimated at 8.3 million euros to 9.2 million euros in Bolivia, skyrocketed dramatically to an astounding 420 million euros upon reaching the European market. Despite the extradition request, O'Shea remains elusive and is currently on the run, suspected to be in hiding, possibly in Mexico, according to Chilean authorities. O'Shea is portrayed as a significant figure within the Sinaloa cartel, leading the cell overseen by his uncle and mother in Chile. Authorities assert that he operates from both Europe and Mexico, receiving directives exclusively from the upper echelons of the cartel, particularly Los Chapitos. While O'Shea is wanted in Chile, Irish authorities suspect his ongoing involvement in Ireland, including the recruitment and management of agents or intermediaries. The guards have reason to suspect that the Sinaloa cartel has formed connections within the Republic of Ireland, notably in Kerry, with O'Shea believed to be actively involved in these operations. For more than 10 years, the Sinaloa and Jalisco New Generation CJNG, cartels have engaged in fierce competition to expand their global influence. This rivalry has fueled the trafficking of drugs into Europe, leading to the discovery of numerous large-scale drug shipments, including in Ireland. As the primary contenders in the drug trade, they are engaged in a fierce struggle for dominance over new markets worldwide, intensifying their rivalry. The rise of the CJNG has been remarkable, considering their minimal presence before 2009, yet they have rapidly become the most expansive Mexican cartel in terms of geographical reach. This expansion has prompted fierce competition from the Sinaloa cartel. Known for its immense influence, the Sinaloa cartel is believed to have played a significant role in the unprecedented fentanyl epidemic in the United States through its drug trafficking operations. The cartel has the ability to temporarily halt a shipment in Ireland before resuming its journey, making it appear as a completely new consignment to international law enforcement and customs authorities. In such instances, shipments originating from Ireland rather than Mexico are perceived as lower risk. Furthermore, individuals holding dual citizenship, like O'Shea, are seen as valuable assets for Mexican cartels because of their unrestricted mobility across Europe. Additionally, establishing long-term residency in a European country enhances a cartel member's capacity to recruit local agents or intermediaries. Currently, it's estimated that there are over 26,000 members, associates, facilitators, and brokers linked to the Sinaloa cartel spread across the globe. In Sinaloa itself, locals often choose to work for the cartel due to significantly higher wages offered compared to other job opportunities. Many prefer this option over risking their lives by opposing the cartel. Entire regions are deeply embedded in a culture of drug production where the cartel holds authority as both employer and de facto law enforcer. Attempting to convince these communities to abandon cocaine production is akin to trying to ban Guinness in Ireland. That concludes today's video. What are your thoughts on the topic discussed? Share your thoughts in the comments section and show your support by liking the video and subscribe to our channel for future videos. Thank you.